love the blocks. I, I need to use the monk room. The bathroom? Sure. In 19 minutes. Can't do it. You got a friend in the bathroom with the answers? Uh. Fine. I'll get you an escort. Don't stink up till I kill you. Don't stand up. DX. BT. Hey, he's really sick. Eyes on your work. Are you all right? What is going on? Get some help. Matt, did you take any drugs this morning? Pencils down. Can you squeeze my fingers for me? Did anyone give you anything to help with the math test? Matt? I told you, he doesn't take drugs. Miss Davis, all parents think that about their children. And they're usually wrong. I gave my mum a little trouble when I was his age. I turned out okay. Even she thought so. I know my kid. The fact that you did drugs doesn't mean he did. Did he go anywhere last night? No. He was home studying. Any friends come over to help him? And bring him drugs? Is that what your friends did? Miss Davis. Look. I tested him myself. The home kit, I took some hair off his brush. I didn't want him to know about it because I do trust him. Then why did you test him? All he did last night was study and argue about his college interviews. He wants to be himself. No haircut, ratty old clothes, and that'll go over big. Now we both gave up and went to bed, that's it. Has he ever had any problems like this before? Any family history? No. It's just me and Matt. Dyer's a pound. 10 milligrams. Start. Right, what's going on? Taking some precautions. He's seizing. Help me hold him. Stay cool, mate. I'm gonna calm you down. I am extremely disappointed. I send you out for exciting new designer drugs, and you come back with tomato sauce. Bet you paid twice as much. I got mine online. Matt decided to make himself a homemade pizza for a bedtime snack. So some botulism, as well as a million other toxins that cause gastroenteritis, cardiac symptoms, and mental confusion. I'm not so sure about gastroenteritis, but mental confusion, bring it on. Don't, what? Mm. Be delicious. Would you have a death wish? I noticed you didn't try to save me. I figured you were trying to make some kind of subtle point. I was. Kid just started seizing. Not a symptom of foodborne toxins. Also not a symptom of drug use, not two hours after admission. So, what would make him seize, in addition to all his other delightful symptoms? Pesticide poisoning. Carbamates? Or organophosphates, organochlorines. Inhalation or absorption? Too soon to tell. We should wash him down, the poison could still be on his skin. Already told the nurses. on this medication for over an hour. Pralidoxime is very effective. It just takes a little time for it to kick in. And maybe you're wrong. Maybe it's not a pesticide. The blood work was pretty conclusive. It's an organophosphate. Oh, my God. Move back. Miss Davis, move back, please. We're at 30. Ready, cardiac arrest. Get me the pads. What are you doing? We're gonna beat his heart for him. Set it to 60.
stand this anymore. We'll keep him on the pads for another hour. Then what? Let's see what happens. Well, that's not my philosophy. Especially when it comes to my son. And if something bad might happen, I'd like to know what our options are. The Prolidoc team isn't doing him any good. We're gonna have to wire his heart. They were wrong about the pesticides. I ran his plasma again twice. Are there any stronger treatments for the organophosphate poisoning? Oh, damn it, you caught me. We went with the weak stuff. It's just trying to save a little money. Actually, one of my professors at Columbia developed an experimental treatment for the Army. What's the success rate? They're targeting. There's a different hydrolase treatment for each poison. We need to know if Matt got hit with orthene or malathion. What's the success rate? Excellent, I'm sure. It's the U.S. Army. Be all you can be. Point is, what are the kids' chances without it? Minimal at best. The poison's broken the blood-brain barrier. I assume minimal at best is your stiff upper lip British way of saying no chance in hell. I'm Australian. You put the queen on your money. You're British. You call your professor. If we don't know what kind of organophosphate we're targeting, we don't know which hydrolase to ask for. There's over 40 organophosphates. I'll get all of them. Great minds think alike. By the time they get here, we better know which one we need. Well, if we figure out how he got exposed, we'll figure out what he was exposed to. Well, the mom had homemade tomato sauce. Call me crazy, but I'm thinking maybe homemade tomatoes? Front yard vegetable garden. Yep. Kids out there spraying, sees a pretty girl, hormones raging, spray can goes off in his face. I'll check into it. I'll make the call. I'll keep the kid alive for a while at least. I'll have lunch. <laughs> 